by watching some YouTube videos. I've always liked motorsport and we decided to give it a try and here we are now a year and a half later and we're, we're loving it. Me and dad working really hard together and learning lots and just it's helped us get a closer bond and we can always talk about racing, you know. Hi, my name is Hero Sheridan. I'm currently racing for Urban Performance at the 2022 Nationals. I'm racing in the Vortex Rock DVS Senior Class and I've been racing for about a year and a half now. Originally moved from Rotax Lights since they are split into two different events. It's my first Nationals this year and I'm super pumped and really excited to get into it. So many valuable lessons that you learn in karting that can take you through to if you're serious about making a motorsport career. Hard work and determination is probably the biggest thing. The person who works the hardest is going to go the best. Hey guys, I'm Matt McLean. Um, I'm a race driver from Australia. I uh, grew up racing karts my whole life until the last few years I stepped up to race Super 2. So it's a pretty big difference going from the, the tin tops in the car, obviously you're inside the car, to, to getting back out in the open in the car. But I, I love it. I mean, it's just so raw. When I first started, I was really expecting like not to know many people and just kind of do my own thing. But as we've um, developed and grown more relationships, it's it's quite good. You've got lots of mates here. So the culture of karting, it's something that I definitely missed because I grew up for you know, 18, 20 years racing go-karts until I stopped to, to do the supercar stuff. And it's just really good to be back. It just feels like home, to be honest. You know, There's more family involvement. And it's nice to get around all the families and everyone's excited. Everyone helps each other out. It's just really nice. Lots of learning curves, you know, especially since we're starting a bit late. Most people starting when they're little kids. It's just been learning how the cart works and how to explain it well and learning to be aggressive on the track and just make moves to go forward and just like put your cart in the right positions. Yeah, it's been, it's been quite difficult to feel the cart and talk about it in a way which it's understandable. He's a good kid, you know, he worked really hard and he's really good support, you know, for me and keeps me calm, which is, which is good most of the time. Yeah. The odd time we have the odd little Barney, you know, but that's just father and son, right? Try to give him the best car out on the track I can and let him then do his bit. You know, sometimes he makes a mistake on the on the track. Occasionally I make a mistake in, the, in here. and So yeah, um, it's all good. I've been going pretty good. I haven't really been focusing on the results too much. Just really focusing on getting out there every weekend and just learning heaps and just following all the good guys, you know, you learn lots from them and just getting amongst them and, you know, just lots of racing. 